What's up, guys? It's S Fan here with yet another WoW Classic update. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. I think I'm I think I'm losing my voice. I've been doing a lot of GTA RP and, and stuff on stream, so playing different voices, I think, has got me screwed up. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, let's go. So we've talked a lot about it. Uh, we finally, finally have gotten an answer for loot trading in Classic. Uh, initially, they said that they wanted loot trading to be a thing. They said this is the BlizzCon panel, and, and we've talked about it ever since. Uh, basically, that you have the two-hour window after you pick up an item that's buying on pickup that you can trade it to whoever else was eligible for that item. That way, you know, if you accidentally do anything, whatever, you can, you can give it to the right person. Let's go in on this. So... Tepsalem uh, made this post a few hours ago. Uh, at BlizzCon 2018, we talked about how we plan to keep loot trading in World of Warcraft Classic. We added loot trading in Wrath of the Lich King to solve a common problem. A player could accidentally loot an item meant for another player or give it to the wrong person using Master Loot. They would then have to contact Blizzard to get the item moved to the intended recipient, which might take days. We wanted to keep loot trading in WoW Classic because the end result is the same. The correct person gets the item and it'll save everyone time. Well, the end result might be, you know what, but we heard your concerns about the potential for abuse of the loot trading system in parties of five. True. Yes. Uh, it's possible that abusive play could take the form of a group of four players or three or even two, by the way, uh, colluding to deny loot to a stranger who joined their party as a pickup. Raid groups being much larger come with more understanding on the part of solo players that loot distribution can depend on the whims of the many players and raid leaders who know each other. Yeah, for the most part, this is mostly true, right? Because later on in the expansion, later on in the expansion, uh, or sorry, in the, in the game for vanilla, uh, you might have a situation where you're like, you're you're pugging, you're you're doing pickup groups for like Molten Core or BWL or, or whatever. Um. Also, uh, another situation where you'd be in raid groups is like UBRS or something. So like, if you're doing, um, you know, Upper Black Rock Spire, you're going to be. It's typically done with ten people. Uh, it was originally 15 and then and then 10 later on. Um, taking that into consideration... Well, not originally 15. Uh, uh, okay, you got... Come on. Okay. Taking that into consideration, we've decided that the two-hour loot trading system in WoW Classic will only apply to soulbound gear that drops in raids. Soulbound loot that drops in five-person content will not be tradable at any time. Okay. Okay, that's good. Uh... What we hope to do is strike a balance between saving players' time and minimizing the potential for abuse of the system. Okay, that's good. Find a middle ground. We think this approach better addresses the concerns we've heard from players on the subject. So this thing will apply to only soulbound gear that drops in rids. So is this in any loot system? Um, this is pretty much exactly what what we've been saying. This is pretty much exactly what I've been saying. Now, I've been saying specifically for master loot in a raid environment... Uh, soulbound loot that drops in five-person content will not be tradable at any time. And is this linked to the content? Is this linked to the content, or is this linked to the raid group? If it's linked to the raid group... If it's linked to the raid group, then... That would affect UBRS. Right? Like we just mentioned, that would affect Blackrock Spire. If you're doing, like, uh, if you're doing a dungeon... It's, te it's technically a raid, right? But people consider it a dungeon because the level of loot that drops there. Um, this would affect that as well. So uh, if they're doing this the right way, this would have to not affect UBRS. But if it's linked to where you're at and it's like, oh, no, no, we made it to be it's, it's where it's Molten Core, uh, ZG, BWL, uh, AQ40, Nax, whatever, right? If they make it like that, to where it's linked to those specific things, but what about world bosses? Right? Taking that into consideration, we've decided that the two-hour loot trading system in WoW Classic will only apply to soulbound gear that drops in raids. Um, they do mention master loot here earlier. That that was that was basically the, the problem that they were trying to solve, is giving it to the wrong person using master loot. My question is, does this affect every type of loot distribution? Um... I think that an easier solution to this would be, if, if you're trying to find a middle, middle, middle ground, I think an easier solution to this uh, would be to specifically do, have it for Master Looter in raids. Uh, I, I think it solves that problem, because you're typically not going to be doing Master Looter uh, outside of 
Uh, maybe outside of like a few bosses. It kind of depends on... Uh, typically, typically you're not going to do Master Looter uh, in, in UBRS. But you're going to be doing it in world bosses. You're going to be doing it in the bigger raids. So uh, that would kind of solve that problem. And that would put it in the player's hands, right? Giving the player's agency to, to do that. Um, and I've said it before. I've said it before. Um... In my personal opinion, my personal self's opinion, and this is coming from somebody who, yes, has done this before. I, I specifically, it happened on stream. I mean, you could probably just, like look through my YouTube channel and find this. I accidentally gave Netherwind shoulders to a hunter because everybody was screaming the hunter's name. And then I just, you know, just your brain gets jambled up or jumbled up or whatever. And then I see the name and I click it, right? So I've made the mistake before. But in my personal opinion, uh, I think that... It would just be best if you make a mistake if something like that happens then you don't need you don't have gms right you don't have gms that they want to they don't they don't want to pay for people to come in and, and have like a team of people to do this and have it take several days too so really what i think they should do or what i would like for them to do personally is if you screw up it's on you if you screw up it's on you move along that's it right uh, but I, I mean, obviously that's not going to happen, right? This is this is Blizzard 2019, whatever. So uh, I, I think that this is a good solution. I think this is a good solution. We've been suggesting something very similar, uh, and I would like again, I would like some clarification on this. Is this all loot, all soulbound gear that drops in raids, or is it in a master looting situation? Because they mentioned master looting earlier. So anyway, guys, uh, I think this is overall. I think overall this is good news. Um, at least the fact that they're they're moving in the right direction. I didn't think that they would go. I, I I never in for a second like got my hopes up to think that they would actually completely get rid of loot trading. I, I think that would be insane um, to to assume that they would do right. But um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I, I, I'm like like I said, I'm losing my voice and I, I, something's going on. But guys, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it guys please sub to my youtube channel uh I, i've been doing a lot of other kinds of content you guys can see that i've been doing like more stream highlights and uh clip you know like basically if i do an irl stream i i, I package it up and uh, i have an editor helping me out with this and putting this on my youtube channel putting out more content to my youtube channel uh, again classic content is rolling which is good i mean that's that's always going to be the focus of what i do um on top of the other stuff, P.O. Box, whatever, whatever it is that we do. So please sub to my YouTube channel, guys. It, it would really, really mean a lot to me. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I do the other stuff, if that's what you're interested in, on top of the classic videos. Um, Twitter.com slash SFANTV, Twitch.tv, SFANTV, Instagram, SFANTV, SFANTV on every platform. Uh, and of course, remember to join my Discord. We're at like, I think almost 7,500 people in the Discord. Like the Discord is blown up. So you, you got questions about classic, you guys want to get involved in the community. I'm going to be doing my guild application uh, there soon. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have it done by the end of the month. So I'm going to get rolling on my guild stuff. And um, that's going to be very, very exciting. That's going to be very exciting. So again, thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time.